the final one of four heats in the men's 800. There is the defending champion, Adam Kshot, twice a European champion he is. They're right on the inside. You can see him in the distance as we take a look very swiftly through the field. On the outside lane, we've just seen Daniel Andujar for Spain. And here is one of the faster men in the field, but hasn't reproduced the times he did back in 2015. Amel Chuka in lane seven. Elliot Creston there for Belgium. San Rudolph for Slovenia. Daniel Roden for Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Finished second at the British Championships behind Elliot Giles. And on the inside, just 20 years old for Norway, Marcus Einen. Another 20-year-old Frenchman, Gabriel Tuau. Second at the French Junior Championships last year. And there is the reigning champion, twice European champion, twice European under three champion, twice World Championship silver medalist. And he'll um, surely take it very easy here. Tends to hold back quite a bit. Adam Schott does. And then just kicks over the last 200 meters. So. Going from the inside out, Adam Kshot, Twell, Einan, Rowden, Rudolf, Creston, Tuka, and Andruja. Focus there from Adam Kshot. Became a father earlier this year and said it's one of the best things to have ever happened to him. There is Amal Tuka. And off they go seen a bit of bumping and barging in the previous heat, so it'll be interesting to see which tactics will play out in this race. The Norwegian there going to the front alongside the French, so the two 20-year-olds leading the race here, Einan for Norway. And now we've got the Slovenian son, Rudolf, in second from the Frenchman. But Einan really just trying to stay out of here. Very confident front running there from the Norwegian, taking it out as they are approaching the line. As predicted, Adam Schott just hanging way back, staying out of trouble, as we have seen from him so many times. Go through in 52-26, so faster than the previous race. The young Norwegian leading through that 400 meter marker. Adam Schott still hanging way back there. Will now start to kick as he begins to make his move around the rest of the field. The pole has such an impressive range there. The way he manages to just shift gears and go past everyone, as we have seen so many times from him before, has just gone from eighth chill second within the space of 50 meters. Now led by the Spaniard, Daniel Andujar. Bird shot there, comfortably going through. Andujar now slowing down a bit. The Brit, Daniel Roden, has to work hard. And Amal Tuka coming through as well. And it looks shot Tuka and Roden are through to the semi-finals. Very, very easy job from Adam shot there. 146.31 for the pole. Amel Tuka 146.47 and Dan Roden 146.59. And I don't think the highly rated Spaniard Daniel Anduja has done enough to get through to the final. It's uh, it was a poor run from him, but nevertheless uh, excellent and really made that. Made a statement, did Adam Schott, as far as this particular event's concerned. Just the sheer speed with which he goes past his rivals. Everybody else is working full tilt, and Schott can just pick them off. 
all attention on him, obviously, but also very good finishes by both Tuka and um, Roden, who had been hanging back a little bit, but uh, really placed themselves very nicely to come through. And as you say, Andrew Harwell, 146.99 in four. I'm very pleased to see Tuka coming back after a couple of years in the doldrums. He's not running at the same sort of level as he was in 2015. But nevertheless, nice to see him come through. But one update, though, is that his compatriot will not be going through to the semi-finals. Abilene Mushanovic from the first heat, who had a fighting chance of going through. He and Germany's Mark Reuter, I've just been seeing, have been disqualified for obstruction. And according to this, the Spaniard, Andujar, has qualified yep. based on time. So nice there for him. to settle even for second in the French Championships. This is a man who finished third in both the Polish 800 and 1500 metres recently. 2017 World Championship semi-finalists at both distances as well. Michel Rojmaz. Thomas Roth recently ran a personal best of 145.75 at the Oslo Diamond League meeting. Seven times Norwegian champion over this distance. And a man whose credentials we've talked about quite a lot, the reigning world champion from France, Pierre Ambrose Boss. Eighth in the 2014 World European Championships. Two thousand and sixteen European bronze medalist uh, Elliot Giles came through and surprised everybody with that performance. Now this is the man who is many people's favourites to get his third successive European eight hundred metres title. Adam Schott, twice a world championship silver medalist as well, three times a European indoor champion. One of two Spaniards in this semi-final. Alvaro de Riba reduced his personal best to 144.99 when winning the Spanish title recently. This man ran well in his first round. Lucas Hodbod, 22 years of age. He's the youngest man in this field. And on the inside, the second of the Spaniards in this race. Daniel Anduja, third in the Spanish Championships. Indeed. Seems to have the ability to actually get up there and contest races. Doesn't win very many. Was fourth at the Europeans under 20 Championships back in 2013. So, which Adam Kashop shop shall we see? The one that takes it from the front or the one that darts to the front from 150 metres out? Looks like well. the latter. <laughs> well, it looks like the two Spaniards trying to make the way. Coming around from the outside, it's Rosmish. On the inside, though, it's Anduka. And now it's Pierre Ambrose Boss, a man who's also noted for hanging back and coming through with a late finish, but deciding to take up the running here. So Boss are in front. Anduka. Roth in third place at the moment. And on the inside, Hodbod, who had a... Very quick finish in his heat, and right at the back, it's Adam Schott, just watching everything unfold in front of him. Well, Boss goes through, 52.94 for the first lap, followed by Hodbod, Anduka, Roth, and Hodbod. So it's still Boss at the front, leading it all the way. Well, maybe he's wondering whether he does have a sharper finish. Just making sure, he's certainly got great talent as both. Ran 142.53 back in 2014, and now with 150 metres to go, it's Adam Schott 
working his way through the field, but also cranking it up at the front is Pierre Ambrose Boss. Boss now hitting the home straight in front. Shot trying to claw back the deficit and doing it very successfully, getting right up on the shoulder of Boss. And now they're flying down the home straight. And looks like it might well be a second pole joining them in the final. Well, it was Shot who certainly took that semi-final. Rosmish gets second place with that well, yeah, phenomenal I was going to say, Boss run. eased off a little bit and he doesn't seem aware at all of the fact that there might be a man coming up on him. And just on the line... Well, Rosmish came from a long, long way back as well. Well, there's three to go through. I think Boss, as you rightly say, did ease up thinking he was comfortable in second. Also closing down, but having a lot of work to do was Diariba. And Diariba there faster than the previous heat with his 146.43 and also faster than the previous heat. Hopped up. Well, Hotbod has had a good championships. I think <laughs> I don't think he I think he would be very happy if someone had told him he was a finalist before now. Well, this is at around the 200 meters to go mark where we saw shot starting to accelerate, starting to come through from the back. Now he gets up on the shoulder of Boss with about 40 metres to go, just eases past him and just watch that long surge for the line from Rosmish. Well, Boss did certainly ease up. It certainly didn't look as though he had any inkling that Rosmish was coming up so quickly. But right. nevertheless, it's the two poles and Boss that go through. Confirmation of that. And in fact, the first five across the line do indeed qualify for tomorrow's final. Diariba and Hodbod going through as fastest non-automatic qualifiers. There's confirmation of the eight men that will contest the final tomorrow. Adam Schott, the fastest at 146.17. Here we have the men's 800 meter final up next. There is the reigning world champion, Pierre Amboise Boz, as we take a look at the lineup. Mateusz Burkowski finished second at the Polish Championships there in lane eight. One of two, three poles in this final. There is the second. Michal Rosmusch, who is in the semi-final at both the 800 and 1500 meters at the World Championships last year, and had an amazing last 200 meters in his semi-final. This man, Andreas Kramer, is known for his front running, and he has won both his heat and semi-final in very strong form, so certainly one to look out for in this final. Alvaro de Arriba, the Mediterranean Games champion from Spain in lane five. And here's the world champion, Pierre Amboise Boss. Took a while to get going this season, but looked pretty good in the rounds, although he might have gambled a little, eased off a little, and nearly missed out on a spot there in this final. But the world champion in lane four, and here is the defending champion, Adam Schott, twice European champion, twice European under 23 champion, twice world championship silver medalist, gunning for his third title. Lukas Hodbot, the Czech champion, 22 years of age, second youngest, third youngest in this field. And here is Andreas Buber, for Denmark, won European silver in 2012 and last year got a silver indoors at the European Indoor Championships in Belgrade. So the lineup in this field from the inside out, Uber, Hotbot, Schott, Boss, Diariba, Trama, Rosmus and Borkowski.
and it'll be very interesting to see whether we'll see the usual front-running tactics there from Kramer. Yes, he's already moving up the tall Swede there in lane six, making his way to the front. Adam Schott normally hanging back, as does the world champion Pierre Ambroise Boss. And there, Kramer moving to the front, the tall figure, and he nearly trips over there. Not sure whether that was his own feet. He is leading this field from one of the three Polish runners here. Tall. Romis in second there, and Hogbot, the Czech, in third. Buber also hanging back, and now we're seeing Pierre Ambroise Boss move to the front with one lap to go. They go through 400 meters in 53.16. And it's very interesting to see Boss here take it out, challenge Kramer in the way he runs. Also looking interesting there in third, Adam Schott. We're not used to seeing him at the front this early on in a race. And it's Boss from Kramer, from Schott, and another pole coming through strongly. And Buber now coming through on the outside from way back. Schott now making a signature move there on the outside with just 200 meters to go. What Boss, uh, Boss now being overtaken by Kshot. Kshot really kicking hard here. Kramer going round the shoulder of Boss now as well. Kshot really looking very strong indeed. The pole on his way to his third European title. Kramer overtaking Boss. Boss fading heavily. Two poles there on the shoulder as well. Adam Schott takes the title. His third European title in unconfirmed 144.60. And Kramer celebrating silver there in second. There we have the results. Season's best for Adam Schott, a fantastic championship performer. Andreas Kramer and equals his national record, 145.03. And Pierre Ambroise Boss just hung in there to get a European bronze in 145.30. A very interesting race indeed, because it was a very slow first lap. And of course, they went and did a 51.4 second lap. Boss did absolutely the right thing, I think, in trying to make a long sustained burst because he knew if they just kept going at that speed, that would play into Schott's hands. It still did, of course. He was good enough, and Boss didn't quite have the uh, experience of running this year to maybe maintain it. But it was good running for that, and Kramer, of course, we had expected good things of him, and he really ran very well throughout the whole race. Absolutely, and you can just see that move when Boss decided to make the move on Kramer, take the lead, and there we have that final 100 meters, and Schott's just in such formidable shape here, and Boss really having to hang on in there. And it was interesting, in London last year, the Frenchman kicked with 200 to go and then couldn't be caught, and here, very similar, kicked with 400 to go, and then the poles very, very close there, just coming through Rosmus. And Adam Schott even having time to celebrate before he crosses the line, and that really shows he's a real champion. There we have it confirmed. Adam Schott, the European champion, again. I wonder what Pierre Boss was just telling Berlino in his little <laughs> ear there. Andreas Kramer, the European silver medalist. Bronze goes to France and Pierre Ambroise Boss. Here we have the results confirmed. Let's hope they stay a bit longer. We can see some personal best and season's best there in fourth and fifth, but Adam Schott confirmed the winner with 144.59.